Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and this is a video I don't want to be making today, but I've got a problem with my tractor. I don't know if it's a minor problem or a major problem or a one-time problem, but I want to document everything that happens. So if it happens to someone else, this can be a reference for them. So I'll give the really quick version of this story just to tell you how this problem popped up, how I first saw it. Two nights ago, we stayed at a hotel. We were traveling for one of my kids' events, and I come out yesterday morning, walk out to my truck, and my driver's side rear window is shattered. And someone had went around parking lots in the area, breaking out windows, going through people's stuff, trying to steal stuff. So I got a, an appointment for tomorrow to have my window glass replaced. But I come home and it's the temperatures are in the teens and we got a chance of snow last night and a chance of snow today. I want to park the truck in here. So I come over here to move the tractor just out of the way so I can park in here. And when I go to start it, as soon as the engine cranks, I get a red stop sign on the dash, a loud beeping noise, and the display says intake manifold pressure sensor fault or something like that so i had to go around i didn't want to mess with the tractor until i had done my research so i had to go around and clear out a spot to park the truck back here and get it inside and go in and do my research and what i found yesterday was on all of the internet which is a pretty big place just a handful of people who had that same problem a lot of them it was a 3046 instead of a 2038 but there were a couple people with the 2038 now with the volume of these tractors that are out there on the market this is a very low occurrence is what it appears but there were maybe as many as 10 or 12 total people who'd had this problem a lot of them it was a brand new tractor within the first few months but almost all of them it was really cold outside and I thought, oh, well, you know, this cold snap will be over. Maybe it'll go away and I can just take it to the dealer and have them check it. But that's the wrong answer. If this is going to be a problem anytime it gets below 20 degrees, I need to know that. And if I wait till it warms up, I may not know I have a problem until the next time it's cold and I need to use the machine. So what we're going to do right now is see if we can recreate the problem and and just go from there. So... Let's see if it wants to start up and see if we get the same code. And I'll say, because I, I'm expecting what the comments might be, in all the people I found, I didn't find a single person who actually had a problem, a, a, a legitimate engine problem. It's always been some kind of an electrical problem. So that makes me feel a little bit better about going ahead and starting it again. All right, so I wanna go through the process and cycle the key. Got our glow plugs. Should be able to see right here when the glow plugs are on. Okay, so the warning is already on, and I didn't see that last time until I started it. Some people said it went off pretty quickly after they started their tractor, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. So the fault was on the screen before I even tried to start it. I don't know if that's because it faulted last time I started it or if that was registering the problem existed. But unlike last time, as soon as I started it, the light went off. So I'm gonna let it sit here and warm up a little bit. I'm gonna run the tractor, see if the light comes back on. I'm gonna call the dealership, get their advice, and then we'll go from there. When I went through the owner's manual in a video a while back, it was saying ideal warm-up time. It's a little bit vague because it was split into two different sections, but in cold weather, maybe three to five minutes. I'm going to give it about five minutes, and we're, we're getting close to that. 
hasn't come back on. I want to try to recreate the problem if possible. So I'm just going to go move some stuff around. I've got the ad grapple on the front, move some logs, just see what happens. running for eight minutes and we're just now seeing the temperature gauge raised. So I ran the tractor for 25 minutes, took about five minutes before I moved it. At about eight minutes, the coolant was coming up to a normal temperature. I just did everyday stuff, nothing really that would put the tractor under a heavy load, but not, everything's fine. No more alarms, but I don't know if this is gonna be a reoccurring problem, so I am gonna talk to the dealership about it. Right now, I'm giving the tractor time to cool off. I mentioned that in a previous video. If you weren't aware, especially if you have a DPF filter or a turbo, you wanna make sure you give it time to cool off. So, I'll be right back. I just talked to the dealership. Service department told me that that is not a problem they see very often. They actually said it's pretty rare, but they have had that code come up. Most of the time, you're probably gonna be replacing the sensor. The sensor is $429. If the parts guy seemed a little bit unsure if he was finding the right sensor or not, he was gonna transfer me back to service. I said, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do anything until the problem happens again. If it's just a one-time thing, there were a couple people who said it happened to them once or twice and then never happened again, but it should be covered under warranty, I would think. I got the extended warranty by buying their service plan, so hopefully I don't end up being out any money. But the, probably the takeaway from this is, if you're watching this video, if this ever happens again, whether it's tomorrow or a year from now, there will be a follow-up video and it'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment of this video. So be sure to check that out. My other takeaway is that a $500 deductible is probably okay on your collision, but on comprehensive, I'm not crazy about it because I'm out of pocket for that window. <laughs> to, uh, so the dealership, $670 and uh, local glass shop 267 so five hundred dollar deductible on comp on comprehensive probably something I'm gonna rethink and the funny thing is I don't know if it's the right part but a Google search brought up an eBay listing for that sensor for forty nine dollars so you'd have to do your research but if for some reason it wasn't covered under warranty I'd take a look at that Anyway, probably not the most entertaining video, but if I have a problem with the machine, I'm going to show it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.